Good to see you, Jessica. Good to see you, John. How are you? I'm good. So we're going to have Olivia first tonight diving, then Eve, then Juliana, and then Tess. This is reverse week, so everybody needs to start with a reverse dive. That's a dive starting with a 300 number. Olivia is going to do a 101A, so I think she's going to dive exhibition this week. Reverse is a very tricky dive to learn, so she may not uh, quite have it yet. Great job. So front dive straight. Five, four and a half five. Eve's up next. She's gonna do a three oh one B. That's a reverse dive in the pike position. It's a 1.7 degree of difficulty. She looks like she kind of slipped off the end there a little bit, but good height. Four and a half, five, four and a half. Next is Juliana doing the same dive, 301B, reverse dive in the pike position. Juliana a little bit uh, flat as well, but good height. Four, four and a half, four and a half. Tess is also going to do a 301B reverse dive in the pike position. Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. Nice job. Look good. Yep. Nice entry there. Eight bingo. Eight bingo. So nice. three eight. Okay, Olivia's next dive is going to be a 201A. That's a back dive straight. Landed just a bit flat there. Three and a half and two threes. Eve is going to do a 201B next. That's a back dive in the pike position. job there. Nice clean entry. Seven and a half, six, six and a half. <laughs> Juliana's up next. Oh, sorry. Looks like uh, one of the scores is actually a seven. Juliana's going to do a 104C. It's a forward two somersault in the tuck position. Oh, looks like we have a correction. To Juliana. I'm going to look for her to stand this dive up. Right, John, I'm going to get those feet out first. Five and a half, five and a half, and six. Tess is going to do the same dive, but in the pike position. So that's a 104B. Nice 
20th century. They're a little bit of a lean, but still well done. Six and a half, six and seven and a half, I believe. Okay, Olivia's gonna do a 52 11A next. It's a back dive with a half twist. Nice job. Trying to nice and straight. A little bit of a turn, but five, a four, four. five, four, and four. So the twist at the end there is just a little bit of a deduction. Eve is up next. She's doing a 103B. It's a forward one and a half somersault in a pike position. from the board, but well done. Six and a half, six, five and a half. Six and a half, six, and five and a half. Juliana's going to do a 203C. That's a back one and a half somersault in the tuck position. Just a little separation of the feet. Five and a half, six, six and one half. Five and a half, six, and six and a half. Tess is going to do the same dive, but in the pike position, 203B, back one and a half somersault. short on the entry there, but still well done. Six and a half, six, and five and a half. That little deduction will be for the uh, being a little short. Next up is Olivia. She's going to do a 102C, which is a front one somersault, landing feet first. Four and a half, four and a half, and five. Eve's next dive is a 104C. It's a forward two somersault in the tuck position. Job. A little lean forward there, but a great stand up. Five and a half, six, and six. Next up is Juliana. She's going to do a 403C. That's an inward one and a half in the tuck position. Good job there. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough dive to watch sometimes. Nice. Five and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Tess is going to do the same dive but in the pike position. 403B, inward one and a half. Four 
low degree of difficulty on that one. Great job, just a little bit over on the entry, but well done. Six and a half, six and a half, and seven. Good job. Olivia's back up next. She's going to do a 401C, which is an inward dive in the tuck position. That dive just gets better every week. Five, 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 five and a half. So that would qualify for states if we were having them this year. Well done. Eve is going to do a 401B. It's an inward dive in the pike position. Oh, sorry, they made a dive change. 5211A, which is a back dive with a half twist. Change on her sheet tonight. Good job. A little bit cramped on the entry, but well done. Five and a half, five and a half, five. Five and a half, five and a half, and five. Juliana's going to do a 5231D. That's a back one and a half with a half twist. It's a little bit of a newer dive for Juliana, so she seems to be doing it great in warm up. Six, five and a half, five and a half. Tessa's fifth dive is a 404C. That's an inward two somersault in the tuck position. That's a 2.8 degree of difficulty. Good job. A little shy to stand up, but still a good job. So it's a five, six and one half, six. Five, six and a half, and six. <laughs> Olivia's final dive of the night is a 402C. That's an inward flip in the tuck position, inward somersault in the tuck position. Five and six. Well done. <laughs> Eve's final dive is a 403C, I believe. They haven't changed it. It's an inward one and a half in the tuck position. Nice height on that. Seven, six and a half, six and a half. Juliana's final dive is a 5122D. That's a front one somersault with a full twist. It's a 
1.9 degree of difficulty. Nice job, she made it around there. Well done. Six bingo. Six bingo, so three sixes for her. Final dive of the night is test, the 5225D. That's a back one somersault, two and a half twist. I believe it's a 2.7 degree of difficulty. Yes, 2.7. Good job. A little bit over rotated on the entry, but still well done. Six, six and a half, nice. and six. And that will conclude the diving for the evening. Everybody did a great job as usual. So um, before we go on, uh, thank you very much. Of course. Um, let's let's ask the question. I I know there must be another weather head in the future. No, this no? is it. This is it. We're maxed right. out. We have all the weather heads here all in the one place. Okay, good. This is actually good. the first time Tess and Eve have ever competed against each other because oh, wow. they're two years apart in age. So. Yeah in USA diving and yep. AU diving, they're in different age groups. Yeah, and I'm super impressed with tests. Uh, you know, I'm on the Knights of Columbus and we have a, oh, a nice? group that goes and does stuff. And oftentimes I see tests, tests picking up the, the jobs she, going out to the people, so she awesome. She really enjoys it. Yeah, um, it's really awesome, uh, you know. What it's g fantastic organization. Yeah, um, yeah. They're really taking care of some folks in the community. Exactly. Uh, it's it's outstanding. So and it's so you. it's so neat to see like a young person, you know, take it on. Um, it isn't always the kid that'll do it. So. Yeah. Well, she. You know, yeah. it's it's. Uh, of course, you get your driver's license, so you'll drive yes. just about anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, it's really nice because uh, she's worked with uh, one person in particular. Okay. Pretty often, and they've established a nice relationship, nice. which is which is really kind of special. Awesome. So, yep. um, so thank you for that. Good. We, yeah, yeah. We, we appreciate it. No, no problem. Um, well, listen. Good luck to all the swimmers. Yep. We'll be watching and yep. cheering them on. Thank uh, you I'll so pass much. Pass the headset over to Maureen. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I think oh, I'm not sure. Are you uh, are you coming on first or? Okay. Oh. Gonna have my daughter come Fantastic. on. Fantastic. Here you go. So. Great to see you. You, you, have, you have put it on, yeah. Okay, so uh, before we before we get going, let's just let's just set the stage here. <laughs> um, I know in a few hours everybody's going to be watching the final four, but as long as you have or the the finals, as long as you have the TV on, you know, crack open whatever beverage you're having, and uh, you know, come on and watch the watch the swimming. The meat's supposed to be good, right? Yeah. Now so. Uh, I have here next to me my my oldest daughter Bridget. Yes. Say hi to Bridget. Hello yeah. everyone. Yeah. And uh, as everybody might know, Bridget is a graduate of Hopkinton High School. 2018. Yeah. 2018. Yep. And um, she's now studying at Fairfield, and um, super excited and en entering senior year coming up. And you know we were talking about, you know she's home for the break. <clears throat> we were talking about earlier today. You know she would uh, or during the weekend she would come do the meet with mom and dad and so thank you very much for that yes i'm excited to be here um if you don't know i swam on hopkinton high school swim team for four years i was a captain my senior year and yep. um, i'm really excited to be here today and say um give the seniors a shout out as well because I, I actually swam with them for my senior year of, wow nice of high school yeah, you know, I just want to say one thing, you know, now everybody knows you as uh, Deirdre's sister. Yes. And so, you know, for a long time, Deirdre was Bridget's sister. This, this so, is uh, true. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you'd be feeling, you know, if you were in a meet like this. So this is a, this is a different world, right? But Definitely, yeah. Um, would you be nervous, uh, anxious? How would you be, like, before the meet's coming up, the buzz? What the buzz like? Yeah, I definitely think that this is a very different year, but we used to swim up at Keefe Tech, yep. and whenever we had a home meet, we would have a big team meeting before, and they would tell us what we're swimming. Um, definitely always some excited anxiety, especially for home meets. Yep. Um, for away meets, there it was a little bit different. We would take the bus there, 
kind of get some nervous jitters out in the yep. way, um, have some good warm-ups and kind of get pumped. And I, I always felt like if the pool was colder, the more excited and maybe nervous you'd be for a meet. So. Okay, yep. Um, definitely excited to be here and see everyone. Um, yep. It's definitely different um, yep. with now, everyone being here at once, but I'm sure that that must be in its own way exciting, seeing yep. your own teammates compete against each other. Now, what you're going to notice when we call the lineups, which I generally do right before the thing starts, is you're going to recognize a lot of names, and we're going we're to talk about some of the, the older ones. Um, in uh, lane two, this is the 200 medley relay. We have Ishii, Olivia, Juliana, Juliana who just got out of the diving board, and Olivia Wade. Lane three, Elizabeth is starting off, Natalie Buffard, Sophia, Mia Carboni. Lane four, Davis, Brandon, Kevin, Sean. And in lane five, Kayla Burke is in the pool, starting off the, the medley relay. Starting off in the backstroke, they start the they start the race in the pool, and uh, I tell you, you know, it's so, it's so amazing to see Davis Pishoff, yeah, of course Mallory's brother, Mallory, right? Mallory uh, graduated in 2018 with me, yes. Yep, yep. And of course, you see Kayla Burke, that's um, of the yes, fame Kelly famous and, Burke um, Burke yes, swim team, the Burke, <laughs> the Burke team, yep. And in the pool right now, uh, in lane five, we have Connor, Brandon Fu, lane four. In the girls over here, we have uh, Natalie Buffard, another former, um, another Justin sister. And, um, and Olivia Scalara, uh, the Scalara girls have, have shown a lot this year. Freshmen, I think, I'm pretty sure. Freshmen, yep. And uh, they're doing a great job out there. Yeah, this She's is definitely uh, an exciting race, the 200 medley relay. Um, yep. Start of the meet, start off strong, hopefully. It's exciting to see the boys and the girls compete uh, together as well. Sure, so. yeah. So that's uh, Kevin Gu finishing up in lane four. Um, Declan Hanscom, lane five, into the pool. Sean Haley, lane four, having a great season so far. Ryan DeLeva is coming into the pool, lane five. Finishing up down here in the uh, lane four is Sophia Luce. I'm sorry, lane three, Sophia Luce, Ju Juliana Lucas, pressed into service tonight. <laughs> and into the pool, Olivia Wade, another uh, former alumni sister out there. Yes. Uh, Mia Carboni in the lane. Senior Mia Carboni. Ma ma lane three, yep. Okay, coming up, we have uh, the next, next race, the 200 free. We have uh, Charlotte in lane one. Uh, Anna Scalara, lane two. If you forget anything, just say it's a Scalara girl because they're <laughs> usually in there. Uh, lane three, Alyssa Fisher. Lane four, Tyler Holbrow. Lane five, Aditya Dutta. And lane six, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente. I just learned that he's from Madrid. I used to go to Madrid a lot. I stayed in Rivas, which is a suburb of Madrid. Love Madrid, love the food. Hopefully uh, Pablo's relatives, you want to say something in Spanish to them? <laughs> say hello, hola. <laughs> Yes, I'm studying uh, Spanish over at Fairfield. <laughs> yes. So, like, I'm expecting a little that. more than hola. But <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the 200 free is a great event. I used to swim it. Yep. Um, definitely a sprint as you get more intense um, into the event. So yeah, yeah. see how the dives Yeah, are. I tell you, um, one thing we'll see here is there's a lot of diversity in the... Um, the, 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 the kind of swimmers we have, mm -hmm. uh, freshmen swimming, sophomores, juniors, seniors, it's awesome. Yeah. It's a very good mix of um, ages. And uh, yeah. what did you like the most about, uh, swim, about being on the swim team? What was your big memory? Um, I would definitely say the people are uh, part of the best part about why I stuck with swim. Um, I love the sport, obviously. I think it's a really great way to uh, hang out with other people as well as you know get some 
some gains in. So right now we have Tyler. He's pulling ahead a little bit, not a lot. Yep. Um, and Aditya Duta, lane five. Yep, Alyssa pushing. Alyssa pushing, yeah, yeah. Alyssa, yeah. Um, I was on the team with all three of them. They're all excellent swimmers. Yep. Definitely have seen a lot of improvement from them over the years, which is usually expected yep. in this sport um, as you get more accustomed to. Now, did you watch the meets when you were at, back at school at all? Did you hear your mom and dad on the TV? Because I did. I, watched I don't know if you heard, we're going to be uh, going to Tokyo in a few weeks. Oh, for the Olympics, yeah. For the Olympics, yep. And, uh, you know, they did ask me to, to announce tonight uh -huh. for the uh, final, but I had to oh, go the here. Final, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, but I do happen to have Gonzaga as a, a pick. As do I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully they, they win. Yeah. So let's see. Um, Tyler's coming in, lane four. Alyssa's giving him a good go for his money here. Pablo's looking good over in lane six. Yeah, Pablo. Um, definitely a hard race, especially the third and fourth. Um, laps the third 50 is pretty difficult you're yep. kind of pulling through the first sometimes people tend to go out a little bit fast on the first 50 and get pretty tired so yeah seems like that that's my that's what we might be seeing yeah now i did i did get a little word from pablo uh he's going home for the summer and then coming back and he's going to be a senior at a high school in maine oh wow yeah amazing well isn't it too cold to swim up in maine i think it might be but maybe he'll find like a maybe he'll ski up there mm. oh no it's not that far right <laughs> okay looks like tyler finished it out ahead uh Alyssa, Alyssa fisher second, lane yeah. uh lane three second aditya lane four uh five i get all the lanes wrong and we have anna and charlotte coming in yep here they here. go they, there's a little They're, run uh, here they, each other. oh there's a race going on come on it looks like they're uh, kicking pretty hard to get to the finish. They're almost there. It's a difficult race. It is, it is. I it's think you can easy. underestimate it, you know? Definitely. Okay, now we're gonna start up with the 200 IM, another uh, marathon here. Katie Ball Ballster, lane one. Deirdre Belger, lane two. Sophia Luce, lane three. Tyler Fallon, lane four. Lucas Kaufman, lane five. And Pierce Farrell. Uh, lane six. Now this is the weirdest thing. The the warm down. They're all holding the plastic containers up that contains their uh, masks. Mm -hmm. And they use typically it would just be a little cool off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they have uh, baskets over here, which is what they do at uh, college swimming and. Yep. In the Olympics. Yeah, we'll find, Mom and I will find that out when we're in uh, Tokyo. Tokyo, yeah. That's yeah. The elites. I think I, I heard HCAM is, is paying for the trip. <laughs> but uh, I, we'll have to you find out. You better hope. We have uh. to check it out. There, there might be budgetary constraints on that. <laughs> Katie Boster, lane one. Deirdre Belger, lane two. Sophia Luce, lane three. Tyler Fallon, lane four. Lucas Kaufman, lane five. Pierce Farrell, lane six. Uh, I mean, look for Tyler to come out yeah. pretty fast. Pretty good start underwater. Yeah. Tyler um, pulling halfway through yep. the pool. In the streamline. Fly was definitely always the hardest. Was not your favorite stroke, I'd no. say. Yeah. Just as long as it doesn't hurt you too bad. <laughs> um, so Tyler's obviously in the lead at this point. Coming into the backstroke. There's still time for uh, the girls to turn it around. Yes, exactly. It's pretty um, different strokes. Not everyone has, yeah. you know, strength in every stroke. So absolutely, the girls can definitely continue to turn it around over here. Yep. Now, is the pool at Fairfield the 50-yard pool or a 25-yard? No, it's actually a 25-meter pool. Oh, okay. So okay. it's half of an Olympic pool. Olympic pools are 50 meters, which is yeah. long course for USA swimming. Got it. So right now we have, ooh, Tyler just did a Tyler. basket turn. That was. Um, basket turn? I don't know yeah. that one. Is it it's a good a, one? Yeah, it's a turn. You touch back on your backstroke and are able to flip over while doing breaststroke. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah. Not something I can do. Yeah. Because I'm not a stroke swimmer. Personally, I only swim freestyle. Yep. So we have the girls over here, Deirdre and um, Katie. 
Sophia's looking pretty good. Yep. But definitely a key for the breaststroke is a great underwater. So yep. try to get try to get as um, far as they can underwater. You get one legal kick, butterfly kick. If you do more than that, you do get disqualified. So it's yep. pretty unlikely that uh, a lot of high school students will get disqualified for that. But definitely yep. something to look out for. Yeah, yeah, you know, we spent a ton of time. I'm sure a lot of people on the air who have kids that are stingrays. We spent a lot of time watching you swim in this place. Yeah, and over also the years. getting disqualified, I'm sure. Yes, getting disqualified n numerous times. But <laughs> what I remember the most is that when we first dropped you off, you the first time you jumped into the pool, you chipped a tooth. Oh yes, I do. Remember yeah, you that. remember I that? Chip my Five years old or something. Yep. So. Um, oh, <laughs> Sophia. Uh, Sophia Luce is pulling through. Uh, definitely a key. She looks good. To the, she looks good. The end of the. Uh, we're Grace obviously rooting kicking, for Deirdre. Yeah. yeah, she's kicking now. She's it's great. moving now. It's moving. We have Pierce, nice. right? Pierce out there in lane six. Oh, wait. Am I in the and then um, lane one showing a lot of speed there, Katie Bolster. Yeah, Katie's looking great. Yeah. Yeah, I think something different is that these are double dual meets. Is that correct? Yep, yep. So the, the swimmers are scored based off of their registered gender with the school so women versus men yeah as opposed to a mixed race which is what we used to have which yes yeah that's what uh the league went to double duel i think it's definitely a good thing yeah, I, I think um, it's awesome yeah and then they're able to face more towns as well yeah i think yeah that Birmingham, was a good change i don't know women in the fall and men in the yeah spring. i think the problem was that some or of the winter, teams weren't sorry. big enough i think that was it um, okay, so coming up we have um, the 50 free, Mia Carboni, lane okay, one, Elizabeth Mosier, lane two, Anna, Olivia Scalara, lane three, Kevin Gu, lane four, Sean Haley, lane five, Brandon Fu, lane six. And of course, a few weeks ago we did have Allison Fu here. Yes. She was on break and she came down to see her bro um, do a little swimming. She She's is good to up see at her. Brandeis. She's at Brandeis. Brandeis. Yep. She's swimming, I think. Yeah. Yes, she is. Now I'm seeing a little different here. Brandon is not in. Yeah, Brandon didn't make it. He's supposed to be in lane six. Did you laugh? Okay. Wait, what? I didn't hear her. Oh, okay. All right, well, um. so 53 is a sprint. Um, it's a pretty fast race. Try to get up to, everyone tries to cut uh, up less than 30 seconds. Yep. So seems like everyone did. I think that the... Um, Looks like Kevin might have nipped uh, Sean at the end. I know they have a lot of competition going. So we're going to have a second heat coming up. Uh, you see Maggie McCarthy, lane two, Cassie White, lane three, and Blake Briner, lane four. That happens to yes. be of the Briner family. Yes, Brooklyn Briner. Brooklyn Briner, yeah. Um, Cassie White, she's a senior this year. I also swam with her. Yep, yep. I'm yes. just looking at some of the qualifying standards. I don't know if they're still doing... Uh, they're 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 counting the times, but I don't think there's going to be a meet. So. Yeah. But did you see any there? Uh, the, the numbers came over. Let's I didn't see. see anything. Yeah. I didn't see any numbers either. But. Yep. Okay. So like I said, Maggie McCarthy, lane two, Cassie White, lane three, and Blake Briner, lane four. Cassie is actually holds the number 10 record on the um, Hopkinton Swim and Dive top performances sheet. So yeah, she's looking good the out time there. Time from 2020, which was 26:49, um, is the 10th place on the top 10 girls' performances, which is awesome. And the 200 free, we had uh, Alyssa Fisher had a 207.89, Tyler Holbrow 204.65. Okay, let's look at that. Oh, well. 200 free. Okay, yeah. Neither are qualifying. Oh, 
Alyssa. Alyssa qualified for girls south sectionals. She is two seconds away from Division Two states, which is awesome. Yeah. We're getting the, uh, we, we usually get the times from the deck there. <laughs> you have a contact on we the deck? We have a contact on the deck, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so we have a few minute break here. Let's talk a little bit more about like what swimming meant, meant to you, like in terms of um, your high school experience. You Did you enjoy it? What's, uh, like you said, you liked the friendships yeah. and stuff, but like uh, when did it start and when did it end for you? Did it end? Was it a long year? How is it a short season? Um, I, w I didn't prep you with any of these questions, you know. So. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure there's a question there, I guess. No, yeah, I was just, I was going to say, uh, is it a long season or a short yeah, season? Yeah, like how many meets did you have when uh, you were? Yeah, okay, yes. Um, we had, I think, usually like 10 meets. Maybe it was less. Okay. It felt like a lot. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. felt like we were going to one every week, which I guess is seems like they're doing now, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I really, I enjoyed swimming a lot. Yep. I, I s actually swim, uh, club swim at Fairfield. I'm uh. the club swim president at Fairfield. So okay. if anyone watching at home would like to join club swim, please DM me on Instagram. <laughs> um, at Fairfield, obviously. I don't know if we have any prospective stags watching. Yeah, probably do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely, I'm, I swam... I used to take swim lessons at the YMCA in Franklin and then swam at um, Milford Stingrays and then I ended up swimming a uh, club at Evolution Aquatics. So I I clearly enjoyed swimming. I felt like I was, I liked it because I was able to see improvement in what I was doing and yeah. definitely think that my Senior year and junior yeah. year seasons were probably the best. I yeah, no, like there people was grow a lot. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of funny stories. I, I recall. Um, oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> the Murchie kid. Uh, Connor, yeah. Connor Murchie and his hair. Oh yeah. Would bleach out in the uh, from the Keef Tech chemicals. Yes. Right. Yeah, I think he had to put ketchup in his hair too. Oh really? To save to get it, it out. one year, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, there are always some great stories from high school swim. We would like listen to music a lot on the bus and stuff on the ride home. Um, we would have spaggers. Um, hopefully yep. they'll be able to do that next year because that's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. We always had what's a great time at meets. What's the thing? Let's 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 dance something. Just dance. Just dance. Yes, yeah. we had a great show out for just dance. Uh, yeah. Swimmers are not always meant to be dancers, but we always have okay. a great time. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about some of the, the, you know, I don't know how much you follow the sport now, but like when you were little, I can't remember the name of the girl that was the, the big swimmer. Um, Katie Ledecky? No, before that. She was from, a Detro uh, from the Denver area. M Missy Franklin? Miss Missy her. Franklin, Missy Franklin, yeah, she yeah. She was a backstroker, yes. Oh, was she? Yeah. Okay. She yeah. was awesome. She... I actually think that she is. She got married and she might be having a baby this yeah, year. Yeah, that's what I think so. I think too. I saw that on Twitter. So yeah. she ended up quitting swimming after a series of shoulder injuries, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely think that um, there are some great uh, swimmers that are, especially women swimmers, that are pretty good role models as well, which I always liked about the sport. I think Katie Ledecky, she, she went to Stanford for swimming. Yeah. Um, she was really smart, awesome. I think she's still swimming, so. Yeah, I think she might be going to Tokyo if they have it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But other than that, I don't I don't really keep up with the sport anymore. No. I don't really watch You don't get like, sports. you don't have swim posters and stuff in your <laughs> room, dorm room? <laughs> no, I do not. Yeah, one thing that is interesting is because it's not, um, a team sport per se like I used to swim club and that was a lot less of a it was more individualized and I think that that's a great thing about high school swim is you do get a great camaraderie amongst all of the teammates we get really competitive with the other teams yep um, we used to scout out other teams our former coach uh, coach King he would go like look at everyone's times on the other teams I remember one year he gave us a playbook of for um, 
girls sectionals. We were actually seated. I think I believe we came in second place. Um, we, were, we were one point away from first place. He gave us a playbook on everyone's times that we'd be facing. Um, definitely, I think it's a great yeah. opportunity to have the chance to do a sport like club swimming because it's not only individual, but it's also, I mean, sorry, high school swimming. It's not only individual, but you also have a great chance to like make friends on the team and cheer for each other and lift each other up and hopefully um, yeah. get some wins. Yeah, I'm hoping, you know, I think we're all hoping that next year, you know, we have the ability to have, I, I don't really know, a bigger team, more competition. I'm sure that we'll probably be back at Keefe, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad place to s watch a meet. I don't know. No, it's, it's a good pool to yeah. swim in, in my opinion, at least. Yeah. It's a cold pool. Which you like. Which is good. Yeah, it definitely uh, keeps you on your toes a bit more, I would say. Yeah. And it's it has a deep end for diving as well, which is yeah. nice. I really enjoy watching the diving. Yeah. Now I'm trying to think of some of the divers of, of old. Um, Maddie Staus. Of course. course, Maddie Staus. She was your year. Yes. I think she's she's diving at Denison, maybe. She is. Yeah. yeah. And um, and there was a guy, Reese uh, Donahue. Donahue. He's at he he's probably graduated, maybe. I think he might he may be a senior at UConn. A UConn, okay. Or or UMass, no? I don't know UConn. Uh, yeah. Oh, maybe UMass. Sorry. Yeah. Alyssa Annenberg. Yes. She's Let's see, she went to UConn. To UConn, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a senior. Yeah. Yeah, uh, diving was always a crucial part of where yeah. we would get our points from. Hopkinton always had a lot of good had good divers. I mean, you saw right out here uh, before the Weatherhead sisters. I just, you know, was talking to their mom. There apparently is no w other Weatherheads in the pipeline. Mm. But uh, I think we'll be in good shape the next couple of years. I mean, Eve is, I think, a freshman. Yeah. And um, Tess is a, is a junior. Yeah, everyone looked really good. Yeah, definitely. And um, yeah. Yeah, diving has always been a crucial part of the score. I guess now that it's double dual instead of co-ed, we don't have any men divers on the team right now. Yeah. Which yep. probably hurts the boys' score a bit more than it does the girls. It's usually not not teams don't have as many divers as we do. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, definitely. I would be interested to see how that might impact the scoring. Yep, yep. Well, we'll usually find out like Thursday if we, if we, how we, how uh, Hopkinton uh, did in the meet. Okay, that makes sense. Thursday or Friday morning, they send it out. So, um, yeah, it's a definitely a different, definitely different world mm -hmm. out here, you know, and. Uh, it's good. I, I'm glad that they're able to uh, participate in the sport and that it's... Get a season, right? Yeah, that they get a season. Yeah. Now, how important do you think the kick is? Uh, you know, when you're a freestyle swimmer, mm -hmm. what, what do you think, the kick? The kick is, like, super important or...? Definitely. Yeah. Um, kick was not my strong suit, personally, and I, I definitely think I, I probably lost some races because of that. Um, it's almost like a motor, a motor, uh, and without that, you're just stuck with your arms. Yeah. Um, I think people with really powerful kicks, like it, it always starts dive off the block, start with a, a really great streamline underwater. That can really uh, propel people forward for a great race. So, and yeah, then so I think maintaining a, a strong kick throughout the entire race. So um, let's let's talk about your dive. Do you want to talk about it? Oh no! <laughs> Do I want to talk about it? Yeah, I never that was had, always a subject. Of I discussion. never had a great time. <laughs> this is true. Um, I know. I, I kind of feel bad for people at home listening because they don't they, know. They, they want to recount my uh, high school swimming experience, but I did have <laughs> some difficulties. I was going to states one year, and I think it was Coach Ann and Coach King. So Ann from the Ashland team. We used to practice together for states. They're trying to get me to improve my dive before the week before. Ugh. It was brutal. I was crying a little bit in my goggles, I have to say. <laughs> it was not fun. Um, so I definitely think that the dive 
can really help make yeah. or break some of these races because if without a good dive, it's it's, sure. it's hard to get get back. Yeah, I, I can retell. I'll tell you a funny story. It's some meet. I don't know what it was. We were at Keefe Tech, Mom and I, and uh, at, I guess at the, at the break, you know, they were going into the dive. They're going into the diving and. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach King came into oh came gosh. into the stands <laughs> and he said, "I don't know a better dive. What can you do?" I was like, "I, I don't know. A, There's not much like, I can do about it." Yeah. <laughs> I think it's almost like a fear because, like, I would never be able to be a diver diver because you have to go head first into yep. the water. I think that it's part of. I mean, diving it comes from your legs. Yeah. It's a huge push forward and something that. Yeah. It really start. It can kick kickstart your race and without that uh, having a strong dive it's yep. it's definitely hard to like start so see I'm, I'm still there. talking yeah. about your dive we, yeah can, we oh spent a lot of gosh. time talking about that over the years I, think. I have to say I haven't dove in a long time w you don't dive in uh, club no, swim we don't no you start in the pool well yeah yes the last time I swam in a meet was actually one week before our school was sent home for COVID Oh, okay. And it was at UConn. It was a, a club swim meet against UConn, UMass, and I think URI as well. So I actually saw one of my former teammates there. Actually, two of them. Yeah. Kaylee Cohane. Yeah. Who is a, she is now a sophomore at URI and also. She does club swim over there. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. And who else did you see? Um... Maybe it was Reese. Richardson, no. Oh, yeah, one of the Richardson boys. Yes. Yeah, cool. Okay, we're getting ready for the 100 fly. Um, <laughs> Barb Fisher, Barb shout Fisher, out. Yeah. What about me, Barb? I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I think I was, the, I thought I was the one over here. Thank you. I said good out. things about John last week. I mean, he's got the score going. <laughs> uh, here we go. We're in the 100 fly here. Charlotte Dow, lane one. Uh, Anna Scalara, lane two. Uh, then I have Davis Pishoff, lane four. Tyler Holbrow, lane five. And um, Kevin Gu, lane six. This is definitely an interesting race. I think, Butter, in my opinion, at least Butterfly is a lot uh, height. It's also kind of like the rhythm you have. So it really does start in the chest. The arms go over. It depends on where you breathe. That yep. can kind of make or break your stroke. So here yep. we have Tyler pulling ahead. He is known as a butterflyer, I yeah, believe. Yeah, he is a butterflyer, yeah. Um, but he's having a great overall year. Yeah, he is a senior captain as well, which is yep. great. Right over here, um, we have Charlotte and Anna. Charlotte, I believe they're both freshmen, is that correct? Yes, I think so, yeah. Definitely a hard... Um, Race. Yeah, I would not want to be put in it. So I, I give them a <laughs> lot of credit for doing it and yeah, absolutely. pulling through. And I think that like this is definitely a race that it's people can definitely um, improve on a lot as they get yep, older. I and agree. They, they get more into it. You, you got to stick with it. You know, I always think of um, Caitlin O'Connor. You know, yeah. like she she took it took it as a niche, and I think she made the states a couple of years. She did. Yes. Yep. It's a very technical stroke, I think. You it know. Is. Uh, Anna's looking good over she here. She is. She is, and so so is Charlotte. Charlotte looking is looking good. good. And there is some cheering going on. I, I don't know. I thought that was illegal, but I'm glad to hear it. I think it's noisy, right? Maybe they're just piping it in. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if it's like a recording. Are the people down I don't here? I not see anyone screaming. <laughs> um, nice. Charlotte, nice. Sorry, Charlotte has a good finish, which is always great. Yep, Pulling so all the way to the end, definitely um, a difficult task. So it's good to see these first-year girls pulling yep. through, um, staying strong throughout the entire race. Yep. Now we got uh, the 100 free coming up, Bridget. Uh, Natalie Buffard, lane one. Katie Bolster, freshman, I think, lane two. Sophia Luce, lane three. Aditya Dutta, lane four. Lucas Kaufman having a good year so far, lane five. And Connor Willadson, lane six. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting. It's it's uh, not a heavy senior team, 
uh, and a lot of good freshmen. I can only say, based on my own experience, they should stick with it. It's uh, you grow a lot over the years, and you may think you're struggling at the freshman year, and you can come through and make states. So you have a ho your whole career ahead of you. Yeah, so it's 100 free, four, mm -hmm. four lengths of the pool. This is Natalie Buffard, lane one. Looking good. Looking She's good. a former uh, Stingray. Stingrays Aditya Dutta, he's doing great Looking over there, great. lane five, lane four. Yeah, yeah, I always feel like this race is a good race for uh, women as well, keeping up with I the agree. guys. I agree. They look really good on the uh, Sophia right side. Luce looks awesome out there, lane three. Now, what's uh, we had this discussion last week. What side did you breathe on, Bridge? Um, I only breathed on the right side. Right side, yeah, okay. I am a righty, and I always felt like that was yeah. the stronger stroke for me. But yeah. actually, I'm looking right now, seeing Aditya. Looks like he's breathing every stroke, which is. So I know a lot of guys do that. He's I think he looks like he's breathing on both sides. Yeah. Um. Who do we have in lane two? Wow, looking at some score, looking at some times here. Cassie White had a 27.0, Elizabeth Mosier 28.75, and Olivia Scalara 28.8. Nice. Nice. 53. Blake, Blake Briner, 25.03. Sean Haley 25.44. Kevin Gu 25.64. Those no. uh, those times are all pretty close. Awesome. To okay, so we, here we have your favorite stroke. They asked us if you could come down and swim it. Oh. Uh, it's the 500 free. Ah, I see. Uh, again, Olivia Scalara. You, you'll hear that name. There's, there's, I think they're twins, actually. Olivia Scalara, lane one. Uh, Ishi Karana, lane two. Alyssa Fisher, lane three. Brandon Fu, lane four. Sean Haley, lane five. Ryan DeLiva, lane six. So I don't know. I, I, I always thought that the 500 was, you know, torturous. I think when mm. you're first doing it, it's torturous, right? Definitely. I mean, but then you get the idea behind what you're supposed to do, I guess, what your limits are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's a very daunting race for uh, freshmen because it's, yeah. it's something maybe not you've never practiced before. Yeah. Going out there just swimming 20 laps at once. Yep. Um, I actually swam it a lot my junior year. I went to States for it. I, I kind of stopped swimming it senior year. just felt like it wasn't, I stuck to the 200 instead. Yep. Um, but it, it's definitely an exciting race when it get, starts to get um, yep. more elite. And, and when there's more people when you're directly versing someone else. Like yes. I remember, I think it was an Ashland meet, and Ashland was our biggest rival at the time, and I was against someone, uh, Beverly Byron. She, she swims at UMass yeah. uh, Club Swim. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, she's a sophomore now. Um, I remember we were racing each other, and we were the, in the last two last places, but whoever comes in fifth place gets one point. So we're battling it out yeah. for the last point, which yeah. is always really fun, even though we were both in... Fifth in place, the last yeah. places, but awesome. Who won? And who who, who I made? Do, I believe that I won. You I believe you I nipped her at the end. Her, yeah. yeah. Um, nice. Alyssa's having a great swim here. Lane three. Looks good. Already on lap five over here. Brandon looks good out there. Lane four. Hey, everybody looks good here. You know, yeah. it looks good. It's so awesome. Sean, Sean's looking good as well. Um, lane five. Four, sorry. Wait, am I in the right one? No, this is it. Yeah, lane five. Oh, lane five. Sean, yeah, Sean. Sean's had a great year this year. I, I super impressed with his effort. His stroke looks really good. Mm. Same with Ryan. I mean, there's Ryan up there. His stroke looks really strong. Now I understand that Alyssa is. I think she's swimming at Wheaton next year. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. It's a great program. We, uh, one of our cousins swam there yep. as well, which is it's funny. It's a great pool. It's yeah, a great a complex great pool, there. You yeah, know. great school. Yep. Do you know what she's studying? No, I don't know. No. It's awesome. 
Yeah, she looks really good. She does. She does. I, I have a bias towards the girls, you know. Just I always tell the I always tell the studio the audience that I have a bias. Uh, I got well three, daughters, three daughters. I got three yeah. daughters. I better have a bias towards the girls, you three, know. Three daughters, yeah. Yeah. Two swimmers. One actress. A dancer. <laughs> a dancer, a singer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Although this year I think she's gonna be lifeguarding, which is kinda good. That is good, yeah. 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 A lot of swimmers are, are lifeguards, so. Yeah. Oh, wow. We see Alyssa coming up in lane three on lap 11. She's actually pretty close to out-touching Olivia over here. Yep. And yep. this is actually very common. It's definitely something uh, that you see a lot in the 500 because it is such a long race. So yep. I would say to Olivia, just keep going and, and don't yeah, let actually this maybe, you down. Actually, maybe play off of it. You know, if yeah. you look out of your right, your right side, you see... Try and race her. Mm -hmm. It's hard, you know. It's a hard race. But so. she's got a lot of growing to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. And I don't even think I swam uh, the 500 once my, my freshman year. And I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good race to build up your niche. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's great. Oh, okay. We're getting some tips here. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. We have. Let me see this because I can't see as well. Um, yeah. Ryan and Sean over here in lane six and five, pretty close to each other. We got Isha over here in lane uh, two. Yeah, Isha looks good. She looks good. Again, you know. It, She's gonna see in a second. Alyssa is gonna pass her, but she could play it. She could. She could use that to kick. Yeah, she's looking good. She's on lap 15. So yeah. She still has five more laps to go. It's a long race, but it's. Yeah. It definitely. Uh, she keeps doesn't. Kicking. You know, it's funny because I don't know. I, I see a stroke that doesn't look like it's labored. It's just a little tired. From who? From both of them, from yeah. you know, from Ishi the same, you know. Awesome. I'd like to see the splits for everyone because that can always yeah. tell you a lot. Okay, well, now that they're blowing the whistle right here, or I guess they're not blowing it, but they're doing a whistle sound, which yep. means that uh, the person in first place, Alyssa Fisher, she's on her last lap. She's getting the orange right here. And uh, she's kicking red here. Red square, yep. last lap. Yep, she. Awesome. Nice, nice. It's nice. Okay, and we also have Brandon Fu. He just he's on his last lap as well. He's that, gonna get really? the red right here. Yep, in lane um, four. Yeah, yeah. He's getting the uh, shake, which means go faster. You're you're close to the end. Olivia's looking good. She's pulling through. She has one more 50 uh, after this turn, which is great. Yep, nice. We have Ishii, who's getting the red. Awesome. And Sean as well. Yep. So, good job to everyone. Everyone awesome. seems to be really pulling through, which is it's a hard race to do that. Yep. Yeah, I remember you doing it. I think one of the first times you did it was at Bentley. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There was I don't know who we yeah, were swimming I against at Bentley. That. Yeah. that was a nice Bentley. place to be in a meet. The names who go up on the board. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard. She point. looks good. She's kicking she, here. She does look good. She's definitely pulling through for the last one. I'm not sure if it's her first time swimming it, but I think that the first time swimming it is always difficult because you don't know how to pace yourself. So. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Getting some cheers here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's a function of when to start that kick. That kick, yeah. yeah. So what, right. do we, what do we got coming up here, Now Bridge? we have the 200 free relay in lane five. Uh, we have Declan Hanscombe, Caleb Burke, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente, Pierce Farrell, and lane four we have Davis Pishoff, Tyler Holbrow, Aditya Duta, and Kevin Gu. In lane three, we have Anna Scalara, Deirdre Belger, Katie Balsa, 
Balser, sorry, and Alyssa Fisher. And in lane two, we have Natalie Buffard, Olivia J, Charlotte Dowd, and Maggie McCarthy. Wow, so Alyssa Fisher is swimming right now? Yeah, I, I wow. it seems so. Yeah. What is it? Is, what's this, the 200? The 200 for okay, real life. Okay, so she's She'll just got to do 50. Just a 50, you may say that, but it <laughs> it's a hard race in itself. Yeah, so. yeah and uh, we, we were saying, we always we probably always said the same stories over and again, but if you were make, if you were trying to make a time, mm. you could actually make like a 50 free time if you as go long first. as you jumped off the block. Yeah. Yes, if you go first, and you're uh, able to qualify. Yes, good. yes. And that's happened over the years, I recall, in some cases. Um, yeah, I remember trying to do that a few times. Cause you yeah, see, you Alyssa's get more getting out of the pool, and she's, she's coming up here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're looking for... They're looking for a swimmer? Other person. I think they may be looking for Anna. I don't know where she could be. There's not oh, many places to go. She might be right up here. I don't know. I don't know who anyone looks like. But let's see. I think that they're... Yeah, they're getting they're somebody out there. For, yeah, someone. You're not supposed to run in the pool deck, I guess. Oh, well, yeah, that would be <laughs> <laughs> not good. Yeah. Um, looks like they're looking over at a heat sheet over here and maybe seeing what everyone's I doing. I think they just found her. I think she was up here. There's always a little intrigue at these meets, you know. Yeah. Um, there's always some intrigue. Um, I just want to give a shout out to one of our listeners, Mallory Pishaw. All right, cool. Um, yes, she said that she misses how how fun the uh, the team was, which is great. Yeah. She, we used to swim on Milford Stingrays together as well. Awesome. We were yep. younger, great team. Yep. She's over at um, Providence College, a junior this year. Yeah. Lifeguards at the uh, country club in the past as well. Yeah, yeah. Hopkinton Country Club. Yeah, you do see a lot of, a lot of swimmers are, are lifeguards as well. Which yeah, I think is great. yeah, it's, it's awesome, yeah. It's a good summer job to have. Yeah. So this is an all-out sprint here, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, oh. what we just saw, I don't think if it was a meet that had other people, I don't think oh, you would have yeah, they would have they they had think. a problem with that. But Who's in? Let's see. Who's in the pool? All right. We have Natalie Buffard, Anna, Davis, and Declan. So Natalie is closest yeah, Dav to us. Davis has a stroke. See this kid out here? Oh, my God. Yeah, he looks He can great. make it happen. Look at this. Davis. Declan looks good, too. Going back to the girls, Anna's awesome out there. Really got her head down and swimming. Yeah, Natalie looks great as Natalie well. Natalie Buffard, yeah. Yeah, an interesting thing about the realize is that the dives are so important. Being able to get that momentum of yep. throwing their arms around for the dive, um, even if you're not going first, definitely now great We momentum. have Tyler here, Tyler Holbrow, lean forward. Four. Looks good. Caleb Burke, lane five. Olivia J. She looks great over here. Olivia J. Just got off the diving, diving board. Left. Yep. I think she's. I heard her mom say she might be back next year as a swimmer. But oh wow. She looks awesome out there. And of course, Deirdre. Deirdre, lane three. Lane three looks good. Yep. All right. Who do we have? We got Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Dowd, Dowd Katie good. Bolster, in the pool. Aditya, Aditya Duta and good. Pablo. Cavo de la Fuente uh, de Madrid. Yes, great kicks over there. Yeah. Pablo looks like he's pushing pretty hard. And in the pool, Kevin Gu, lane four. Oh yeah, look at that. that yep. Was, that was and uh, Pierce Farrell finishing up lane five. And in the girls, we have Alyssa Fisher, lane three, just in the pool. And Maggie McCarthy in lane two. Come on, Maggie. Looks the gu the guys look great. Um, the girls look awesome as well. Now I just it looks I just like she just swam so. <laughs> I just got a text. They might delay the tip for the um, the um, the basketball game oh. for the when this meets <laughs> over. If we're not oh out of gosh. here by 9:30, they're gonna delay that they tip. Better, I mean. Yeah. 
I don't have any money on it, but yep. if I did. Oh, there you go. Okay, so coming up we have the 100 back. Okay, we have some results from the uh, 500 Alyssa Fisher with a 540, which I believe that is a qualifying time. Brandon Fu, 601.40. Um, Ryan DeLeva, 601.47. Those are really close. I think yeah. a lot closer than we were able to tell from this angle. And we also have some results from the IM. Tyler Fallon, 234.59. Lucas Kaufman, three, uh, sorry, 237.58, and Sophia Luce, 239.34. All great times um, for the IM. Yep. So did you did you give the HCAM guys your social security number for the pay, for the paycheck? <laughs> it's like a couple of hundred bucks It's a little late in time. the tax season. <laughs> I guess it'll be, t oh, it's 2021. It's 2021, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, in lane one, we have Olivia Wade, 100 back. This is Mia Carboni, lane two. Elizabeth Mosher, lane three, Caleb Burke, lane four, Tyler Fallon, lane five, and Declan Hanscom, lane six. 100 backstroke. All right, so I always tell the same jokes, just so you know. I'm, I'm do, I've been doing that for years. So we have Mia, who is a senior this year. She's up in lane two, looking good. Um, we just got some results as well. Yeah, the backstroke is a, a hard event. You can't see uh, how Behind anyone you. else is doing. Yeah. So, I mean, you're not supposed to look, but if you do. Yeah, it can ruin your day. Yeah, it can make you a bit slower. So yeah. The yeah. girls are looking pretty good over here. Um, Cassie White. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Elizabeth Mosier looking good. Yeah. Great turns from all. Yes, definitely. Um, Caleb Burke out there, lane four. Looking Tyler really Fallon good. looks good. They're they're in a neck and neck there. And then Declan Hanscom looks good. I, I don't know. I, I I didn't learn that turn. You know, Mom and I always talk about that. We, that wasn't a turn that we ever had. I don't know. We bumped our head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's actually two turns for backstroke. It looks like everyone did the standard turn, which is where you get nice. one stroke to turn over and then nice you do finish. Yeah. Elizabeth Mosher, nice finish, lane three. Good job there, Mia and Olivia. Olivia, nice. nice. Good finish. Everyone looked really good in that race. Yeah. We have the 100 breasts coming up. Okay, uh, lane one. We oh, it looks like we, do we have a second heat of uh, one Oh, yeah, we do. Actually. Sure, we do. Yeah, Cassie White is in lane three, and Blake Briner is in lane four. Both seniors this year. Yep. Definitely interesting. I don't know if there's, like, a special reason why they're doing. Yeah, um, a yep. senior face-off, maybe. Yeah, it's a senior face-off. It's like, what is it? Uh, what was the famous tennis match versus uh, Billie Jean and... Uh, <laughs> I, I know I'm, I'm dating myself here. Y you are, yeah. Bobby Riggs and, and uh, Billie Jean King. Yeah, yeah. The war of the sexes out here. Here we go. Cassie White, lane three. Blake Briner, lane four. I know who I'm rooting for. Blake used to do crew as well. Yep. But Cassie, I feel like... Um, she has a very good stroke, she, Cassie. Yeah, yeah she, she uh, does. She's a good swimmer. Yeah, I think she plays another sport. That's I what I was going to say. I think she plays volleyball or something. Volleyball, yeah. Okay, yep. that makes sense, yeah. Actually, that doesn't make sense because then she played... Yeah, she's the captain of the volleyball team. Oh, she is a captain yeah. of the volleyball team. The, 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 this That's year, awesome. the seasons are all screwed up. So typically she wouldn't be having a second sport, but you know they opt this. The leagues opted to. Uh, they call this like I don't know, fall two or I I can't even tell you. Um, oh right, volleyball is usually a fall sport. That's awesome. Yeah. It's great that uh, they've been able to have a season with that as well. Exactly. They're looking really good. Blake is kicking pretty Blake hard is good. right here. It looks good. Yeah. Cassie's doing well. Yes, she looks good. She looks like she's pushing really hard, which is great to see. Yep. 
Okay, so coming up uh, 100 breasts, we have Maggie McCarthy, lane one, Deirdre Belger, lane two, Natalie Buffard, lane three, Davis Pishoff is out there again, mm -hmm. lane four, Connor Willadson, lane five, and Pierce Farrell, lane six. Now, as I recall, um, Justin was a big breaststroker too. Justin Buffard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we just got some intel that Alyssa Fisher uh, scored sectional times in both the 200 and 500 free, which is awesome. That's great to hear. And Tyler Hobrow um, scored a sectional time in the 100 fly. Yep. That's awesome that they've been able to uh, get some sectional times in this. Yes, definitely. Okay, like we said, um, Maggie McCarthy, lane one, Deirdre Belger, lane two, Natalie Buffard, lane three, Davis Bischoff, Connor Willadson, and Pierce Farrell, lane six. This is the 100 breast, four, four lengths of the pool. The turn is so important in this race. Mm. We have some good turns. Underwater. In lane four and, and uh, three. Yeah, good Davis. Turn. Davis has got a good turn. And Natalie, yeah. Yeah, I think another part about uh, breaststroke is kind of staying low to the water as well. Yep. So you you never swam this much. No. I was, as I recall. I was not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can see Davis. He's staying pretty close to the water. He, yeah, he's staying good. very low to the water, which is good. Deirdre's just looking good. Yeah. She's been working really hard on her breaststroke, so it's, it's great to see her improve. I think another thing is uh, kicking in the legs because yeah. of, uh, I think one thing is is uh, not kicking too wide. I think that that's something that they try to focus on as well yeah. in the more elite years because um, that can slow you down quite a bit. Yeah. Nice race there. Davis looked like he out-touched him. Yeah, that was a and, good. And uh, Natalie ending. looked good. Deirdre's good. Nice. Maggie, it's all it's all so tight. Yeah, that was a close race. It's a close race all around. Okay, so coming up, we got the um, 400 free relay. Um, we have some time updates. Did I read the fly already? Um, we have Anna Sklara, which was a... 1.30.10 and Tyler Holbrow shows one um, minute and 51 seconds. No, and one 100, no, one, one minute, minute point 0.51. Oh, oh my goodness, that's a, <laughs> that's a pretty big difference. Yeah. Um, sorry, uh, Caleb Burke, we had a one minute, seven seconds and I don't, I can't read this, I don't know why. Yeah, you'll have to just hold it. 1.07.56 back and uh, Elizabeth Ogier, 1.18.69. So yep. Those are all really great times. Uh, some pretty close times in there. We had definitely probably a race between Anna and Elizabeth. Yep. So we got the 400 free relay coming up. I'm going to give you the first players in each one. Lane two, Olivia. Lane three, Sophia. Lane four, Tyler. And lane five, hailing from Madrid, España, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente. It's 100 yards per person here. Nice, nice yeah, start. I, I believe that it's uh, Pablo's first time swimming on a, a swim team, so it's great to see. Yeah, he um, looks he good. He looks really good. He's definitely yep. uh, keeping up, pulling some good strokes. Yep. Um, he had a pretty good dive as well, which is awesome. Yep. Yeah, Olivia's looking really great over here in lane Sophia, two. Sophia Luce, yeah. Lane two, lane three. Yeah. Olivia Scalara, lane two. Awesome. Tyler's looking good. Tyler's moving out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah pulling ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think another thing is like the breathing. Um, yes. We just saw him, he just breathed 
Looks like he might breathe through four times in one length, which. Yep. Um, Into the pool, Brandon Fu. I think he, breathing is overrated. So here we go. Uh, Ishii Karana, <laughs> lane three, is in the pool. Mir Carboni, lane two. And in lane five, we got Lucas Kaufman, who's having a great season so far. Really Ishii. showing a lot out there, freshman. Yeah. Ishii he, looks like she has a great kick right now as well. Yeah, Ishii's moving here. That. Yeah. Yeah, look at her kick. Oh, Mia as well. They're, they're floating on top of the water here. They That's look awesome. like it, yeah. They do. Brandon looks good. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon looks great. Brandon's a, a freshman as well, I believe. Is that? Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah. He looks great. Lucas looks like he's trying to catch up right there. Get some kicks in. Okay, now we got Tyler Fallon jumping in here. Lane four. Dive. Ryan Deleva, lane. Oh, great Five. Dive. Yeah. We have um, Elizabeth Mosher, lane three, in. Mm -hmm. And Anna Scalara, lane two. Some great dives all around. Yeah. It's definitely a fun uh, last event of the always meet. The, always a fun time, right? Yeah, definitely a great event to end the meet on. Yeah. I feel like based on what I saw, you know, uh, Hopkinton has a good chance of winning this meet. Both sides, yeah, both sides of the ball, as they say. It's hard to say. I think part of it will depend on diving as well. Uh, yep. I don't know if uh, Halston Medway has any um, you know, men divers. Yeah. And jumping into the pool here in lane four, Sean Haley. Coming up, Alyssa Fisher, lane three. And in lane five, Aditya Dutta, who we heard yeah. had never swam on a swim team before, I think, before, uh, before high school. Oh, his coach, no, that was his coach, no, his coach said he wouldn't do anything when he was a little kid. Oh. Yep. Swim-wise, look at him out there. It's yep. just like uh, awesome. He does look great. He looks really good. Yeah, he's he very again. He's kid. very high great in the water. Kid. You know, like uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. He's his his body is floating. I guess that's what people yeah, do when they swim, right? Key. I hope I they mean, swim. That's key. When they're swimming, I hope they're floating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I definitely think it's true. You don't want your your hips to be too low in the water, which I think is definitely something you see if if someone's not kicking enough. Their hips yep, are usually yep. pretty low, which can drag them down a bit. So a GT looks really great. Yeah, um, look at that. In the water, nice finish. Um, that was Sean. Sean Haley. And Aditya is coming in. And on the girls' side, Alyssa is heading in. And, you know, Katie Bolster looks good. Yeah, Katie yeah. looks really good. Alyssa did a lot of events today. So she did. It's pretty she impressive did. that she's closing up the 400 relay. Well, listen, uh, you know, the meet's pretty much over. I, I, I just uh, want to encourage. Yet, not yet. Oh, yeah. I just want to encourage anybody, you know, that wants to come down, if there's an alumni or a parent wants to come down and uh, we can hand over the microphone. Yeah, that would be great. We can, uh, you know, next time Allison Fu comes in, we can hand the mic microphone <laughs> to her. Yes. She can tell us some stories about uh, swimming at um, Brandeis. Yeah, that would be awesome. And, um, of course, you know, it's great to see you, Bridge. You and too. Uh, we'll we'll sign off now. Um, and we'll give it back to the network so that they, they can put the pregame on for the uh, for the um, basketball game. What do you think? Yeah, thank you all for uh, listening, and congratulations to the Hillers on another great meet. It's awesome.